We're here looking at a new project of mine called A More Perfect Union. And we're at Bitforms Gallery, which is in Chelsea on 20th Street. This show opened a few days ago. And it's a, almost entirely a works on paper exhibit. But it's based on a big uh, computer thing that I have been working on for about two years now where I decided to make a census of the United States. Um, in a kind of peculiar way. Um, so 2010 is a census year, so I decided to make my own, and what I decided to do was make it based on um, online dating sites. And so what I did was I joined 21 different online dating sites as a straight man, a gay man, a straight woman, and a gay woman, and downloaded about 19 million single Americans, stuck them all on a hard drive, sorted them by zip code, and subjected all their words to analysis. And then what I did was I made a road atlas of the United States. I, I took an old Rand McNally and I scanned it into my computer and I traced it by hand and traced all the borders and the rivers and the lakes and the highways and stuck in all the towns. And then I replaced the names of all the towns and cities with the word used by a higher percentage of people in those towns and cities than anywhere else in the country. So all the words are unique. There's about 20,000 unique words in the whole atlas. And some of the words are, are um, sort of banal, like New York City is now, and Washington, D.C. is interesting. And it ranges from that to sports teams, you know, so Phoenix, Arizona is Diamondback, that makes sense, or Kansas City would be Chief. Um, but you also get things like uh, capital of Alabama being conservative. So it's kind of all over the place, um, and it's not the kind of thing that I really want people to read into in a literal sense like I don't want people sitting there with a road map being like what's my hometown's word uh, you know it's not it's a little bit more complicated than that what I'd rather people do is think about what those words say overall about an area and um, what they say about us is in terms of how we describe ourselves and how we choose our vocabulary because online dating is this very kind of complex and subtle activity you have to uh, you have to be able to write about yourself ex for the express purpose of people liking you of people wanting to ask you out and so you usually do two paragraphs you usually do one where you lie where you talk about yourself and then you do one where you tell the truth where you talk about the person you want to be with the official US census which also happened this year um, you know, looks at things like how much money you make, or how many people live in your household, or what kind of industry you're employed in, or your ethnicity. And really, that's that's an interesting body of data, and that's and that's useful for all sorts of things. But that's not it's not really telling us who we are. It's not really telling us anything about the personality of Americans or um, what we like to do on a Saturday night, or who we want to fall in love with. So I wanted to take it in a more um, whimsical direction, but also a on the serious side, a more thoughtful direction about how we how we accumulate a vocabulary for describing ourselves and where that comes from.